everybody, Horror of Spice here. Welcome to Horror of Spice, where everything's nice. I'm Horror of Spice. And this is Horror of Spice. It's the spicy grind, people. <laughs> Yay! And we bring you Slave of the Cannibal God on VHS. As well as Heatnest Number 7, brought to you by the Angry Goat Pepper Company. Slave to the Cannibal God says, directed by Sergio Martino, uh, Ursula Andres, Stacy Keach. Slave of the Cannibal God was filmed in the savage, unexplored jungles of New Guinea. It tells the story of a beautiful woman, Ursula Andres, in search of her missing husband when she reaches the jungles of New Guinea. She hires uh, as her guide a man bent on revenge against a murderous cannibal cult which lives deep in the jungle and feeds on human flesh. Terror lurks at every turn. Too sexy for a silver screen. Whore boobs and, and video. There's the back. <laughs> There's the front again. There's the VHS. And this came with a, a nice little uh, advertisement. Oh, it's a note from somebody. Well, that wasn't intended for us. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, what do you think of this Slave of the Cannibal Guy? I liked it a lot. It was, it was, I thought it was pretty great for, I mean, you know, of course it is an older movie and for an older movie, sometimes they get boring. This didn't get boring, not at all. In fact, under Tubi, it goes under another name. It's like the Slave of the Mountain something. So if you go and type in Slave of the Cannibal God, you'll see the other names. So I do recommend that you watch this movie because it was it was a lot of fun. It was you know it was crazy. It was um, you just think what lengths would you go to to find your husband in this crazy jungle? So take a look, check it out, and there's a little surprise in here too. Uh, Heatness number seven, celebrating seven years since the door first opened at our Brooklyn shop, Heatness number seven brings new flavors to the world of hot sauce with ingredients traditionally celebrating love, fertility, and good health. Curated in partnership with our friends the Angry Goat Pepper Company in Vermont, this sauce is both a marker of a new chapter's beginning and a wish for the future. May it bring you joy and wellness as it adds spice to your life. Sp uh, team Heat. This is uh, five calories. It's got one uh, percent of your daily sodium which is 25 milligrams. It's got distilled vinegar, beets, red serrano pepper mash, uh, pomegranate juice, lemon juice, pistachio nuts, sea salt, caraway seeds, and white pepper. Hmm. It's kind of an interesting combination. There you go. Such a pleasant smell. Smells fresh and fragrant. Right? One, two, three. Yeah, I can really get behind that sauce. It's got a low heat at first that's slowly building in the back of the throat. Uh, tastes phenomenal. Uh, don't be uh, um, 
fooled by the color of this. It's got a pink hue and it's got chunks in it. So, you know, you, you're thinking candle wax or something of that nature. But uh, actually, uh, looks can be deceiving when it comes to this. Quite flavorful, very good. Highly recommend. Nice. Slave of the Cannibal God, uh, in my opinion, uh, is a must-see. For anybody who uh, is getting in, into the undergrounds, uh, exploitation, anything of that nature. Um, you get uh, very familiar faces if you're used to old films like uh, most of us who watch this uh, particular type of films are. And, uh, you also get to see great acting, uh, great kills, and, uh, the, uh, surprise, uh, doesn't surprise anybody who's seen these type of films before, but if you haven't, it will be a nice little surprise for you. Highly recommend. What do you think of the sauce? I like the sauce a lot. Um, it almost tastes like something that would go on, go on like a, like you could have it with, with like a hamburger. I would say something more tomato based. You could even put this on, oh, if you put this in chili. Yeah. If you made chili with this, this would be a really great additive. Uh, so, uh, how many stars would you give, uh, how many peppers would you give? Heat nest? Yeah, number seven. The seven, I would say four out of five. Four out of five peppers. How about Slave of the Cannibal God? Oh, boy, that's got a special place in my heart. I would say five out, out of five. Mm. I really like that movie. <laughs> in my opinion, um, both of these are a five out of five peppers. Uh, and uh, if you haven't noticed, we've been doing uh, pepper uh, 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 system this uh, week. And we're going to continue to use it. Uh, one pepper means it's total crap. Five peppers means it, that uh, you must go out and find it for yourselves. We highly recommend. And again, this is under a different name. Slave of the Mountain Tribe or something like that on Tubi. So it's free to watch. Yeah. So now there's no excuse. <laughs> well... From Horror of Spice? And Mrs. Horror of Spice. Y'all stay creepy now. Bye! Bye!